the champ is here, Jeremy Brocky. What was that like? What was that moment like? How exciting. That was special. You never get used to, to winning trophies and uh, to only win the Nedbank a couple of years, a uh, couple of months ago now and then to back it up with the MT and 8 mm -hmm. uh, so soon. It's a great feeling and, and the boys did well. I mean, Super Sports looking really, really good. I mean, after you lost Stuart Baxter and then, you know, Eric Tinkler comes in, it's always, you always never know how it's going to go. Are you going to gel with the coach immediately? Are there still going to be some teething problems? Champions of the MTN8, yeah. you guys have a cup in hand. I mean, absolutely fantastic. What's that experience been like for you guys? How did you guys just get it immediately? Yeah, it's been a pretty smooth transition. Um, obviously, we've kept majority of the squad from from uh, when Stuart was here. and mm -hmm. We've got a lot of experienced players in that team that, that can drag us through tough situations, which, which the boys showed on the weekend. So, um, smooth transition, like I said. Very professional, Eric, and um, he's, he's done well in a short time he's been here. You being in South Africa, though, you left New Zealand and you're like, I'm going to play in the PSL. What's that been like for you and, and what motivated that move? It's, it's been a fantastic um, experience. And before I came to South Africa with my young family, uh, we came with open, open arms and didn't really know what to expect. Um, but from the moment I've got here, the, the change room has been brilliant. The boys have welcomed me and I've tried to embrace it. Obviously my dancing skills aren't quite as good as what we saw too so there, but um, that's all part of it. The singing in the change room before games now. It's just different, really, right? Yeah, it is very different. But So when you were in New Zealand, what were the different rituals that you would do then? So I know there's the singing, there's the dancing, that's very South African. Yeah. But then in New Zealand, what sort was it of, like? It's just quite individual, really. You got your headphones on, you sort of just sit in the corner and oh, prepare for a game. But now that I, I've got to have to take some of this back home. You know what I mean? You got that African flavour yeah. in you. <laughs> what is it though about South African football that has your heart at this point? Um, I, I love the passion from from the fans and the supporters, and um, you've already talked about the Soweto derby this week. Unfortunately, I still haven't been able to attend one, but. Um, seeing the fans in there that just cheer, sing the whole time and, and it really makes for the experience and, and the atmosphere and um, that's, what we, that's what we love doing. Jeremy, how important is it to, to play football in different regions outside of the region that you grew up in? Because I know a lot of South Africans want to go overseas. You are obviously from out of the country and you're playing in South Africa. What has that done for your football? I mean, I'm sure it's changed in terms of the flavor and the style. Yeah, it, it has. Um, the, the way that South African football is played is a lot different to, to where I've come from and I've had to adjust. And I think it suits me as an attacking qu player quite well. Uh, it's quite open and end-to-end to, end to end and entertaining here in South Africa, which has allowed me to, to do as well as I have so far. Yeah. So, um, no, I really love my football here. Yeah. I'm sure you do, and you've been doing so great. Congratulations for winning the MTN 8, and all the best for the rest of the season. You, Eric Tinker, the rest of the boys, Super Sports United are the champs, and we can't wait to see what they have in store for us in the rest of this PSL season.